So the first thing you guys want to do when you head into solo queue is you want to you want to feel good. You want to you want to feel nice and like you want to be excited about solo queue, you know? You want to be full in your stomach, you want to eat something good like and you want to drink some coffee so you are sharp and fresh in your mind, you know? At least that's how I get my solo queue on. Alrighty. Alrighty. And this is what I play with my Jenna. I go 16 damage. Why? Well, if you go with these runes early game, you can out trade their AD carry. And that is the goal. I will go defensive masteries and these ones, most likely. No. No. No, no. The fuck? Where, where's my Jenna shit? Okay, I don't have any Jenna masteries. It seems. It seems like I removed them for something else. Oh well, let's just make this Jenna. So, this is my Jenna masteries. And now you might ask, why would you go like this? Well, Jenna is super strong level one. With your shield, you can out trade their, like almost every AD carry you can out trade with these runes, masteries, and the shield. So, and when you can do that. As a support, it's really good because AD carry can only start with one potion, and you can start with at least three. So you will be able to put, like to push her out of lane. Isn't that annoying? Like if if a Jenna would do that to me, I would be like, what the fuck? Support? Ah, what the? What? You know, I would be super annoyed. Okay, I'm looking at their team, and I went with Ignite because one. They don't have any character that wants to jump in and kill my carries. But always look for like, if they have like a super assassin like Zed or some shit. You you, you kind of want to pick that exhaust. Alright. So we're going to help this guy. Boom. Run to lane. And now we're going to try to run with under AD carry, yeah? The thing is they have blitz, so I got to be somewhat careful with my positioning. But actually we might even just try to push for the... Do you see I out trade her? Okay, they have blitz with the shield thingy, but it's alright. And it's really, really good if you play like this, because if you don't play aggressive like this, if you're like being a bitch support, hiding in the bush, you know? Like, your AD carry like, my AD carry, look at him, he can just auto anything he wants. Look, he's not scared. He's like, oh shit, this is the freest lane of my life. I can just jump around and do whatever I want. This is awesome. He's having the time of his life, you know? Meanwhile, their AD carry is like, shit, this Janna is hitting me all the time. It sucks, you know? That's how you have to play it. Whenever she goes for last hit, you have to be... Close to uh... look now. I traded with her so well that she's like lower than me, and I still have three pots. She she has one though, but I mean this is the point of playing Jana. Like you wanna have a decent laning phase early at least, and then you okay. Uh, I thought that was our jungle for a second. I was like, what the fuck is that? I'm still not very used to playing with Kalista, but it's alright. She's gonna. Oh, fuck, I missed it. I really wanted to trade with her. Like, when you're playing support, just look at your own minions. Don't look at their minions. Like, just look at your minions and when they're gonna last hit. And whenever they're gonna last hit, you can go in for a trade. Like, just shield yourself, pop an auto or two, and then back out. It's all cool. Look, here's one minion. Oh, he's so scared that he uses his Q. Like, oh, you're gonna have that last hit? No, man. You ain't having last hit at all. I will kill you if you take that last hit, you know? You just gotta be manly and know what to do and when to do it. I shielded her so she would get more damage on the E. Uh, but basically, you, you just gotta man up and like know what to do and when to do it. It's very simple. Always trade whenever their AD carry is going for last hit. Well, if, if you can win the trade. If you know you're gonna lose the trade, obviously you should not go for it, but you know what I mean. Alright, so what did she go with? She went with an early game build, double Doran. 
and a lot of potions. Not sure why she went to the mana pot though. She's severe. She should have like free mana all the time, you know. Okay, I'm gonna play aggressive now because if she wants last hit, she gonna go through me, you know. Like, oh, you want that one? Huh? You gonna queue it? No? Okay, no last hit for you. Oh, you want this one? Yeah? No? You want the big one? You think you can get the big one? You can't have the big one. You can't have shit. Because if you try, I will fuck you up. Blitzy blitzy. Did you recall in there? No, he did! What a baller! That guy, no fear, man! <laughs> uh, so swag. Oh well. I will... Oh fuck, I didn't get sidestone. I'm just gonna back and get sidestone. I'm so tanky. This is also why you go with the 921-0 build. Because you just don't die. Like, And I like to go for a tanky Janna build. Like, I've played a lot of different Janna builds. And I've found out that I really like the tanky one. Where you go like randuins. And like, taking the hook is really good for me. Because I can just go ham then. Like, look at me go. I can just go like this. And now I can go in and tank and he can go ham. See? Very good. Because I'm so tanky. I'm like a raid boss over here. Uh, so bot is missing. That means either they're heading mid or they're heading drake. I guess they're taking the scuttler. Or something like that. So now I don't have any summoners, and that means I will need to play more safe. Oh shit, they're... yeah. I pinged, so that's kinda Cassius bad. Alright, so... Blitz isn't here, that means we should be able to bully Severe, but... Wow, that's not zero damage. Uh, we can just take this straight up. There's no reason for us to keep it there. Fuck, I don't even have ulti. Oh, that's sick, man. I just go in. Potions? Where are my potions at? Oh my god! Oh, I didn't sidestep that. That was bad. Mm. If I had my ulti or summoners, stuff would have been different, I feel. Oh, you're so ballsy. Damn, dude. You got some big cojones. <laughs> For a guy with a ponytail. Alright, actually, Kelly's just a girl, what am I saying? Maybe we can control the Drake. Do we have TP? I wonder. Hello. What the fuck? Let's go home, boys! Sure oh, I really wanted to ulti there, but... Hmm. Get cancelled, bitch! I'm just gonna be support and stand in backline and shield if needed. Oh fuck, what's going on? I don't have mana for this. There might be an Illy coming from the side here. Oh, gotta be careful with that shit. Good job, boys. Alright, that should be a Drake for us. Oh shit, dude. Stuff's going on. Fuck dude, I can't keep this drake up for too long. I mean, I'm dying here, so... Fucking dying, bros! Did it reset? Oh, that's so scary. So scary. But we got it! We got it! Okay, let's check their team out. So, one thing that people don't do enough is check what items 
the opponents are wielding. Like, sh check it out. Like, take a second. It's totally fine to just show up for a sec and just look what they're building. Alright. I think I will go for a bit of Magic Sis this game. But also, I want the Ronduins. I think I will go for... Uh, I will just leave Giant's Belt and go for uh, Aegis and finish my uh, Ronduins late in late game. Because I don't think Sivir is going to be an issue until late game. For me. So I will just go for uh, Aegis because it will benefit the team way more. In this case. Because they have so much AP damage. You know? What the fuck? Oh shit, dude. Yeah, the thing is, if you go for a squishy Janna build, I really don't get why people go for the squishy Janna build. Like, if you do that and you get caught, you're fucked. You're like so fucked, it's not even funny how fucked you are, you know? Like, look how tanky I am. I can go in and bait, like... I can, I can chill. Like, if you go for the support Janna build, where you're like... 0, 9, 21, or... Oh, don't die, don't die, bro. Oh, fuck. I couldn't shield him. But if you go for that traditional Janna support shit, you can't do anything. You're like... You're like a cannon minion. If you get hit, you're dead. Oh, yeah, they have a ward here. That's not cool. Are you gonna put a ward down there? It's annoying. Eh. Ah, mm. I can't do anything here. Oh, I'm dead. That was my bad. I should have really moved back. But I, I wanted to pressure. So maybe they could leave the tower, but I didn't really realize there were like five people there. Or five people ink. But it's alright. Sometimes you gotta die. Not sure why he's staying though. I get that he wants XP, but I mean, he should have backed off and ran back by now. It's all right though. We're still in the lead. We we just gotta protect the Callista in the fight, and we're good to go. If the Callista lives in fight, I've done my job pretty well, because she's oh shit, dude, just go ham. You can ult me in if you want. Yeah. No ult in. Oh, where's your ult, bro? No. Can't even reach her. Shit, dude. Oh, that poke, though. See, if I wasn't tanky there, I would have probably died. Like. Or I would have most likely died. Fucking eye. This one's Drake, 130, alright. You know I mean. So Blitz, you can see Blitz moving there, so he's definitely preparing for Drake. I just want XP here. Okay, are they going mid to pressure or? I'm gonna put some wards down. Then I'm gonna back. Oh shit, dude. Ah. Ah. That's a free drake for them. Oh well, one does. Nah, never mind. Yeah, we should really group. Kalista's super fed. I don't know why people ain't grouping. Like, if you got an 80 tech carry that's this fed, all you need to do is protect your ADC in fights, and you will win the game. Like, their 80 carry is nothing. Cannon minion. Fuck, I can't buy shit. Uh, slightly annoying. Actually, I'll get this and a ruby crystal. 
Then I'll head out. Alright. So it's a 4v. Okay, I'm here. Let's do some shielding. If we just get their jungler, we should be good. Casadino Inc. I'll ignite her, that's a kill. Casadino don't die. And that's a free Drake, I guess. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And when you get kills like this, don't be scared to move in and ward their jungle. It's totally cool. It's totally cool. And it will help your laners and junglers to do better. Because you can make better decisions if you have better ward coverage, you know? You wanna fight me, Nira? I have red buff, like, what you gonna do, girl? I'm gonna die, girl. Oh, don't die! A shield! Good job. Oh, dude, you're so cray. Yeah, you cray. Oh! Shields! Oh shit dude. Oh no, no binding please. Dude, I'm tanky as a motherfucker. Can we get in here? Dude, I don't even care. Like, no, what are you? Oh shit. Where, Cassio? We could have easily fight fought that. I mean, if I was that cash, I would want to fight here. Like, fighting here as a cash is really good. Like, there's one opening here where you have to pass through. And if you take one step forward and two steps back, you hit a perfect cash ult here because they have to get through here to chase you. Like, it's so easy to bait that. And, like, fighting in jungle with Cassiopeia with her, your ulti is, like, so strong. They got five peeps here. They always just group mid with five people. These guys, they, they just love the ARAM, you know? Okay, I guess we're going home. Yeah, I'm gonna follow up. Oh, I, I really wanted to flash follow up that. Flash Q, but... Kalista always interrupts my shit, dude. Oh, I gotta help this guy out now. Yeah, okay. We good to go here? Yeah. Dude, I'm totally cool with this. Not like you can kill me. I'm super tanky. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that should be should be towers. Hopefully too. Uh, yeah. I'm spending my, uh, oh shit dude, that was slick. I'm spending my valentines with my one and two love. Yolo Q. Oh shit dude, she just flashed in like that. Are we gonna, oh fuck, that was really bad ulti by me. I, I ruined Cal, uh, <laughs> oh well. Uh, yeah, that was, I, I kinda destroyed that fight. Sorry. <laughs> Shit, dude. Casadino is going ham. I gotta back a bro up, you know? Let's run, dude. What the fuck? How did that not hit you? It went straight through you. What the fuck? Just run, Casadino. Just run. You're out, right? Yeah, bro. Like, what the fuck's up with this? Do you wanna fight me? I fight. We can fight. Come on. Oh, yeah. The fuck, she was still around? <laughs> she didn't help him? Alright, that's weird. Okay, we're gonna back, get our locket, and build towards our. Uh, Rando and now we're quite tanky. And Kalista is super fat. So, protecting her will still win the game. Man, I really wanted to play jungle though. I feel like support is it's fun, but it's like. 
think it's easier to carry with a jungle than a support. I mean, you can, as you've seen this game, you can see that you can carry with support, but... Uh, that was very unnecessary, but alright. You really didn't have the ulti there. I mean, if, if you don't have vision coverage, uh, popping someone really fast is could be really good. But if you have good vision coverage, like we have, like we know exactly where the opponents are and everything. And uh, yeah, like I can go in like this and don't give a fuck. Because I am so tonky. And my team is doing really well, that as well, you know. Uh, so I don't even care if I get hooked in fights, because I'm just so tanky. Like, I don't even care if he will hook me near. I, I don't think I care about anything anymore. Yeah, this game should be over. Man, I really wanted a more even game. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Yeah, all I need to do is shield Kalista. <laughs> I don't even need to use my CC anymore. She's just so fat. I'm so proud of my little baby. Oh shit, dude. I can't. I have nothing. Oh, I have shield. Oh, my baby. I block for you. I tonk. I tonk, baby. Oh, beautiful. Alright, that should be game. That's how you carry with support, guys. You just go ham laning phase, get some kills, then you can sit and just chill your AD carry and everything is fine. 